Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about mileage. Now, mileage is an expense that as a business owner can be crucial to making sure that you get right. If you get the right amount of mileage in there, you're going to reduce the amount of tax bill you're going to pay and therefore you're going to have a better place in, in terms of what tax liabilities you've got to pay at the end of a year. But how can you make it really easy for yourself? Well, that's where QuickBooks comes in. In QuickBooks Online, there is a whole section dedicated to mileage itself and we're going to explore it now. So if your business or your client needs to record mileage, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, certified UK trainer from QuickBooks with a fancy new logo. That QuickBooks chap on the interwebs and also head of accounts over at Bofix. Now mileage is a topic that comes up very often because mileage is one of those expenses that is actually relatively easy to be able to justify. At the end of the day, if you need to use a vehicle to go from A to B to do some sort of a business work, then that's an allowable expense. Therefore, we should be using that information to be able to make sure that you can get the mileage calculation correct so you keep your tax liability as low as possible. So honestly, if you keep mileage in an effective way, it's actually going to save you money. And that's what we're going to look at today. The way in which QuickBooks goes about it is really, really clever. And it all uses this one device, a mobile phone. If, and I'm sure everyone listening has one, but if you have a mobile phone to hand, then you already have all the tools you need to be able to make sure you can record mileage in an efficient way. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. And let's find out how we can save you money with mileage. Let's have a look. So looking on screen, we can see in front of us, we have our mobile phone experience. Now, straight from here, you can see that there is an option there that says never miss a mile directly on your dashboard. So it's definitely a prominent feature that QuickBooks is pushing. Let's have a look exactly how this works. And importantly, look at how it says automatically track your business mile with your phone. Now, what this is doing is setting up the auto track your mileage settings. And all I need to do is tick this button on. And what it's going to do is use my mobile phone, its GPS and its phone's data to be able to track me if I'm going in a car. Once I press done and I go to my menu button and I go to mileage in the bottom left hand corner, I now have everything set up to automatically look and try and get some deductions for me using my mobile phone. And how does it work? It's dead straightforward. I literally grab the phone, I jump in a car, and I drive from A to B. What will happen then is QuickBooks will record that transaction for me and be able to act on it accordingly. As an example of data I've already captured, well, as I scroll through here, here's all the data that it's got for me already. And all I need to do is a simple swipe left or swipe right to say if it's either a business transaction or a personal transaction. Okay, so that's seems relatively straightforward, doesn't it? All I need to do is make sure my phone is on me. And then when my phone is on me, it's going to see those potential deductions and I decide if it's business or personal. But what else can I do here? Well, first of all, I need to ensure my auto tracking is on so I can get to the auto tracking and do it from here. Really, I should be adding vehicles as well. The more vehicles I add, the more opportunities I've got in terms of making sure my mileage is correct because of a few rules we'll go through later down the line. I can manage favorite locations. So example there being home, work office, whatever it's going to be. And that leads me nicely on to the rules section. So I can set it that every time I go from one place to another, that is automatically counted as a business expense. So for example, if I've got a supplier that I always go to, or I've got a meeting that I go to on a regular basis, I can set it so that every time I do that trip, QuickBooks will know that's a business transaction. What else is it telling me on here? Well, it's telling me what's been reviewed and what's been unreviewed. So I can see the two different areas as I go between. And at the very top there, it's telling me my potential deduction as well. I can use the plus button down here to create a brand new trip if I need to. If for whatever reason I hadn't got it set up, all I need to do is I could use current location and I could say that I'm going to London. Okay, London Eye. Press save, and it's going to calculate for me my distance. 
I set what the business purpose was, meeting with client, everything's on there that I need, I press save, and as quick as that, I've recorded that transaction. Okay, so recording or keeping on top of the actual mileage seems like it's quite straightforward. Using that mobile app as a guide means that as long as I've got it in my pocket and start driving from A to B, it's gonna record the potential trip for me, and all I need to do is set that as business. But what's next? Well, for that, we need to go to the browser experience. So let's jump into the browser experience and, and figure out exactly what to do next. So here I am in my browser experience. Currently, I'm in my dashboard. All I need to do is on the left-hand side, I see the option for mileage. Now, this area here is very similar to what we've got in our mobile experience. We've got telling me what mileage I've done so far to date. I can change my fiscal years at the top. I can download trips if I need to. I can view vehicles. I can look at what trips I've done. Unreviewed business, personal, I can filter them down. I can search for a particular vehicle for trip. And at the top right corner, I can add trips here. One extra feature you have on your browser as well, and from import, I can choose at the moment from Bile IQ, and it'll tell me exactly how to import it. So if you want to use a third party app to integrate nicely, this will work as well. So, so far, I'm seeing how I can put my data in to QuickBooks and interact with that data to make sure it's happy with it. But that's only half the story because I now need to make this an expense. And unfortunately, this is where in the current form, the mileage section within QuickBooks does let you down a tiny little bit. Now, we know there's going to be enhancements to the future later down the line. But for now, if we want to record this as, as a actual transaction in QuickBooks, we now need to manually do that. So let's look at how we can quickly and efficiently put manual transactions into QuickBooks, show an expense, and then save you some money. Let's have a look. Well, ultimately I need to convert this. At the moment I have 48 miles I need to record with a potential deduction of 21 pound 60. And from completing this, if you remember, I downloaded that information. So I have proof here of what it is I'm looking to actually record. Now the easiest and simplest way would be use utilizing the expense option. So I press new at the top, I go to suppliers, and I go to expense. Now, unless you're physically going to pay yourself this, so unless you're actually going to, I'd recommend not putting the payment account as business. Personally, I'm going to put this to my director's loan slash drawings, and we've done plenty of videos of how to create that account. Pay wise, I'm going to call this mileage deduction. Save. Payment date is whenever you are putting this up to. And what I need to do now is, I don't need any of the other information there, but what I do need to do is put this to travel. Now for the first example, I'm going to put no VAT on whatsoever. Now for the first 10,000 miles, I get to claim at 45p. And as I've done 48 miles, I can use my calculator to times by 45p. As soon as I press tab, it's going to automatically include that for me. Furthermore, if I use the CSV file that's been generated for me, the deduction is already generated and shown there. So I could just use that figure. All I then do now is put the attachment in and I'm ready to save and close. Now, that's the manual way of doing it. Remember the rules though, first 10,000 miles you get a 45p, after that it's 25p. But what if you're that registered? Well, I'd go the same way, I'd press new and I'd go expense. Because there are, is, there is actually a, because for VAT registered clients, there's actually an element of VAT that you are able to claim back. So I'm going to do my mileage deduction again, making sure I've got director's loan shown, travel expense, but this time I want it to be inclusive of tax. And when it comes to that, I've already created a mild mileage inclusive VAT rate. And what that's going to do, it's going to look through and calculate for me the VAT that's available. Now, it works out 7.14%, but effectively what you've got to make sure is that if you times by the amount of VAT we've got, I'm going to do it down here to show you. Now, this calculation will only work for the first 45%. You're going to have to calculate it differently if you've got the 25p per mile. If I was doing my 48 miles, remember that's how many miles we've done, and times it by 0.3, I get 1.44. That's where the 7.14% is a way of being able to achieve that for you. It's a bit of a hack. It's not a great way of doing it, but at least that way I'm getting my, my VAT on my mileage correctly included. So use this one, create a new VAT code to create a new one. All we're going to do is press manage rates. 
Now, as a way to make sure that you're keeping on top of it, the reason I've used mileage deduction as supplier is I can jump into mileage deduction and I can see which transactions we've included. Now they both come to £21.60, it's just one's got the VAT element and one hasn't. So there we have it, that's how to use mileage and to put mileage into QuickBooks. Now, I know that QuickBooks is gonna be updating this feature and when they do, we'll be the first one to look at exactly how the update. Because ultimately you having to create your own expense for the mileage just seems a little bit of a long-winded way of achieving the goal of making sure that your mileage has been accounted for correctly. So if you're not already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that you can find out when that mileage has been updated and I can let you know exactly how that works going forward. What do you think to the mileage? Is it something that you use? Is it something that actually has any benefit to what you're doing at this point in time? Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know how many people are actually using the mileage in its current state. Personally, I think the technology is brilliant. I think that we've got a brilliant opportunity to be able to at least understand what mileage we're doing. I just think it needs a little bit more work to be able to make it ultimately useful. Especially on the self-employed app where it just works beautifully there. And every time you record a bit of mileage, it goes automatically to your tax return. If you need any more help or advice on this, don't forget to reach out and get in contact with us. And, and join me for the next video when we look at mileage again and we'll be making sure we keep up to date. My name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been a pleasure to do this video for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.